Hello, and welcome to this final session of our Free From the Shadow play test, which is a PBTA game based on Free From the Yoke, uh, which we have revised to do a kind of samurai fantasy game. We've been playing a couple sessions. This is, is a game that moves from the clan level to the character level. Uh, my name is Lol, pronouns he, him. I'm the one who did the, the hack on this, and we've been kind of playing and tweaking and making some some changes as we've, we've gone along. Last time, we had our holding of the court in which certain things were put, certain onuses were put on different uh, families. Uh, and there were some changes that came out of that. But one of the things is in the game, when your character changes their role, which is kind of a storyline narrative bit, uh, they get to kind of change what they're doing in the family, but they also get an advance for that. And uh, Alan, you have changed your role, correct? Yes. Um, I, I've gone from uh, the loyal, the loyal apprentice of Master Ancient Ro uh, to the uh, Ronin. Mark, when you realize a core part of your clan's teaching are broken or a fabrication. Say what harm the falsehood, falsehood is causing to your clan or outsiders. I think they lie. You know, we 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 claim to have seen a prophecy at the mm -hmm. death of the former emperor. emperor. Um, they lie about the prophecy um, to uh, keep other clans in their place. And, uh, how, and then it says the oh. well. I, I, how did? Makiko come to learn that or realize that? Um, I think probably when is anything leaking out? I'm trying to remember the uh, the winter court whether discussion of the the um the effort of the quartz oak to go through the uh, the the fragmented mirror, whether any of that has leaked out. I, I, absolutely, I think it has, but the story has been shaped in a very particular way the, the, that, the Emerald, that the magistrate sacrificed themselves, uh, that the daimyo- Well, it's nobly. I mean, without him, the daimyo yeah. would never have been retrieved. Yeah. All the lost, uh, yeah. and you know, the, the air attested to all of this, uh, tragedy of you know my father would never have come back um right well i think that the original prophecy which talked about people who make the same mistake again that describes that mirror world differently mm. and and suddenly if that's wrong if if they fabricated this description of the other side of the the cracked mirror then everything else could be wrong and um, and to have this claim to say oh well look you know you need to be careful that uh if you do this you may be the person who's next you know that is that's that it, they're using that that apparently special knowledge to manipulate other clans mm -hmm. or to <laughs> they're not doing it terribly well um but that's the that's the bottom line. Uh, and the harm is kind of using this as a as a club to keep others in line. Yes. Uh, and which other clan might know the truth? I think it it makes sense because we are talking about stories and interactions from the Quartz Oak. I think that they're probably the family that has the most insight into the fact that what has gone on there does diverge from from the prophecies does that seem fair yeah i'd like to offer that in return the, perhaps the reason that makiko knows this to you know that come to this revelation is that um Kasayori, uh has entrusted her with the truth of the daimyo's uh her identity as a daimyo um due to the uh None of this would have been possible without you. Uh, and in fact, you know, I can answer that question of how do you do those things that you do with your help? <laughs> with your help. <laughs> yeah. 
Nice. So what would you like to take as your advance then, Mickey? Um, yeah, I took Way of Harmony. When you spend time in a place of power, meditation, or spiritual significance, gain one hold. Spend this hold vision to gain advantage on an actor ritual for a non-legacy ritual, or if I can accumulate that, I can spend three hold to, to actually just learn a ritual. I like that. Uh, and then... Uh, Kase Yori, we talked about you shifting your role to the leader, uh, mm -hmm. taking that over. And what did you take for your advance for Kase Yori? I took uh, my little sparrows, my spies look across the lands, the media feeding me reports. Excellent. Uh, so let's consider uh, we have before we yeah. move forward, sure. Um, I was looking through the rules. I don't see a way to lower turmoil in the rules other than a few specific uh playbook moves. Uh, playbook moves. So I have always uh considered that that sort of thing can also be done by uh a, a dedicated action. Uh uh, you know, that that uh, is is driven to do that the use of a surplus to mm. solve a problem any of those things i think can also be used to to mm. do that uh basically we we approach the turmoil as a, kind of any other problem that we could could put in a box yeah. and solve well i just thought i would uh ask because it's a defined thing you know and yeah cheers. yeah no i think that's that's a, a fair a fair question the other thing that you had mentioned to me last time that we should probably consider is uh just in case it comes up today uh we've lost the magistrate so we have a couple of other, other options for the imperial agent and uh that is the blade of the emperor uh, essentially the, the the kind of the warlord enforcer the voice of the emperor who is the diplomat uh, the Imperial Herald, who's the kind of traveler messenger, and then the Imperial Spiritual Advisor. Um, well, since you're the one who got the Imperial Magistrate killed. Um, no, I, I think that's probably Alan who got the, oh, the that Imperial is true. Magistrate killed. So, uh, Alan, do you have well, a strong look, sense? <laughs> no, well, um, I, I think probably, um, I think that today we're going to play a zoom in around Makiko. Mm -hmm. So, I guess... Uh, so I'm not going to be playing an agent, so it probably makes sense to ask Will which of the agents he wants to play, but I suppose that the spiritual advisor would be too overlapping in terms of... of right. So that that's my two penneth worth on it. Um, yeah, I guess it would be overlapping in terms of the thing, but it would also be synchronistic in terms of um, if it's around Makiko, right? Like it's the role, the spiritual advisor, you're a Ronin, this is the Empire's... Um, this is the chief spiritual leader of the empire. But if you don't want to do that, if you're not interested. Yeah, in it, I, I mean, yeah. it, we're because we're both going to be focused on any move that has law in it. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I was only thinking of it in terms of uh, I was going to maybe say that's the uh, the drunken monk that uh, one eyed Jin was kept on talking about. Um, I think uh, I would like one eyed Jin to be uh, elevated to the blade of the emperor okay. in the wake of the magistrate's death. Absolutely. That, one yeah. who solves problems of violence, bashing heads, or simply exuding threat. Yeah, sounded like one eye gym to me. Paste that values only. Copy. Paste his picture in there. Uh, and we'll worry about uh, stats if we if we need to. Uh, let's stay at the clan level for a bit and if there are some clan moves that you want to carry out let's let's look at at those so uh mikiko glass iris uh what what is it that that your clan is doing here in this year uh to to move things forward or to help the clan or to uh, potentially set up for what you want to be doing are muted. Ah, um, 
we need somehow to meet one of our needs. And I think that the simplest one is lumber. I think that that given everything that's happened around the, the Temple of Tumbling Waters, we that lumber is all about building materials, really. So I think that we need to and we need to um read the wind probably in order to find how could we uh, obtain a surplus of uh, or or meet our need uh for lumber and that is roll plus reach which is 2 uh so 2d6 uh 7 plus 2 is 9 I'll settle for nine, I think. Yeah, that's uh, one hold. Um, so, yeah, I, I think, how do we get surplus lumber? How do we meet need lumber? I think that what you need uh the closest location uh is the those woods that are kind of overseen by the the dragon uh th that lie just to the south and west of you uh and i think we established that there are there are villages around there and around in the woods that are not organized under any clan right now that there was a clan that was shattered some time ago uh and they have not reorganized it's sort of independent villages and things like that kind of loosely you know they pay taxes to an imperial magistrate but there's uh it, it's very very loose uh and if you can bring them under your control at least a portion of those woodsman villages that's a source of lumber hey what about for quartz oak the quartz oak uh looks to their neighbors and looks and thinks of the turmoil that uh, grips the land and um wonders what can we offer the Alpine clan to end the tensions between us to uh to change you know that they're they're entrusted that they are unstable their leadership um they need culture and we have culture and i have when you comfort a group or faction suffering a misfortune you may raise one of their needs which you have a surplus but keep your surpluses and so i would like to Bring a traveling uh, group of um, what would what would the Makiko's? Uh, I think she has a um, a group of people who can be blackmailed helpers, mm -hmm. scholarly helpers to uh, to bring culture to the Alpine clan as an offering for uh, you know to make com recompense uh, with the daimyos. Uh, a letter of introduction from the daimyo saying. Uh, I was most dishonored by uh, my inability to attend our previous meeting, Lord Helpine. Uh, please accept this gift of travelers from afar who have uh, studied the ways of the other of the other cultures of the world. Um, I hope that in time our clans can be uh, closer than they are further. Uh, that's going to be logistics to okay. deliver it now mind you because of the turmoil that grips the land that logistics role is made at a, a disadvantage it is it is made at a disadvantage um what oh no i don't know if i want to ask alan every time i ask alan for help he always ends up making me my role worse <laughs> knocking me down uh, but sorry, I don't know. There's some really weird noise from the flap of me. It sounded like someone dropping like a whole 
Pakistan just sitting on the ground because I was like, what the fuck is that noise? <laughs> anyway. Um, um, the, the Glass yeah. Irish is always very willing to help, though. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, then. You'll cancel out, in theory, the disadvantage, right? Yeah. If you Well, if you lend aid to a clan you do not have influence over, ask them if they would accept your help. If they do, they roll with advantage. Okay. So, cancels, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Then then let's have you roll uh, logistics. My list of names in my role, role with me, is getting incredibly long in the <laughs> autofill field. What is your family's but, mood? My family's mood is uh, plus one. Okay, that's good. Because I got rid of my need scouts that I'd acquired somehow, I can't remember, with my uh, nomadic remnants. Uh, gone through a lot of scouts, churning through them. Um, so, sorry, what is the modifier on logistics? Mood. It is oh, plus so, one. Plus one. Yeah, sorry, yeah. I will complicate that for myself. That's an eight. An eight. So on that seven to nine, uh, you have a choice for that result. Uh, there's a delay unless you spend influence or favor. Uh, otherwise, it won't arrive until the end of the year. Can I, in his absence, spend my influence with the Silver Lily? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, you just have to, to spend it. You call on some of their assistance and... Uh, it will get there. Uh, yeah, I think uh, some of that is the uh, the silver lilies uh, are, of course, you know, the height of culture in the empire. Um, and I have perhaps among my blackmailed scholars a, uh, a few silver lily members to teach. Uh, you know, basically, I think what I'm really trying to teach the uh, the help and clan is a little bit of PR yeah. at the end of the day to not come off quite so Macbethy. So and now, if I if I just read the detail of our revised lend aid, then on a hit, I take influence on mm -hmm. uh, the quartz oak. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yep. Um, but um, on a seven to nine, I share in any costs. Yeah. And that now, in this case, influence. where it's a cost that's being paid, I generally my take on it is that someone has to pay. So you could have paid it, or they could have paid it. So if Quartz Oak pays it, then you don't have to. Yeah, I would. Um, I would not. Uh, I, I would pay. I think the Quartz Oak are. Uh, um, have been to this through the Sunday Mirror and have seen the the danger that fall across the land and uh, are still in a very cooperative mood. So, your influence will result in gain a uh, uh, move will result may you gain influence over the Helpine clan uh right because you assisted them uh, yeah. uh as well uh turmoil will go down by one cool so come the end of the year i'll have done what the uh, empress wishes of me as long as uh as long as it doesn't go back up yeah yeah ah, i feel like that's inevitable uh now, yeah. here's the other thing, is if it does go back up, uh, that will mean uh, potentially, since we're in a new year, or now it's once per age, it's only once per age that it does that. Uh, uh, but right now it does mean that logistics is rolled straight. Yeah. Uh, You're welcome. <laughs> uh, so let's come back to the to Glass Iris. Well, now we know that these villages are you know, just disorganized hicks. Uh, we will seek to exploit them with subterfuge. Okay. Uh, so roll plus slight, but there's, hang on, there is something in my doctrine. When you use subterfuge and hide your involvement in action, pick an extra option. So I get to hide my involvement plus another for, one. For free, yeah. Okay, so, uh, and that is slight, which is a flat roll. So 2d6, Oh, nine. I, this is, these are the best dice I've rolled in a long time. In a long so that's, time. Uh, a long, long time. So on a nine, uh, that is generates one hold. Um, so I will choose to make the lumber resource appear less desirable um, in as much as I want to make it as cheap and cheerful as possible. Okay. Um, 
and uh, and I would like to also stop them realizing that I'm that we're conning them. Yeah, that that certainly uh, uh, makes sense. Now, uh, uh, so that will will make it like like so you're in a position to go in and and potentially permanently take control of that but that's still another step right okay i just hang on i've just noticed the one down the bottom this is a different list yes um, but that is a two again, hold list there oh, for that right. one okay one hold or two if you pick it. oh right so do, 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 do. i see i see i see i see okay um Oh, then, then, yeah, absolutely. Chaos and or, or, raise turmoil. Or, or if you want to offer a different cost, but you could certainly uh, raise the turmoil no. up again. Turmoil, turmoil. Let us okay. have turmoil. All right. Um, and I will gain fleeting control of lumber. So what I'll do is, is I won't erase lumber as a need, but I will uh, I will put a bracket around it uh, until only for a year. Right. Now, now here's the thing is, if you want to use that immediately to erase your need, yeah. you can do that. That's a using of it. That's a, oh, a putting right. it to use. If you were kind of sitting on it or were doing other things with it, that's, I mean, if you're immediately taking advantage of that, then you can erase your need there. I will do that. Okay. Um, uh, and you have hidden your involvement. So I think that they will come to see this uh, uh, as part of their own choice, a part of their own decisions there. What is it about that, though, that creates more turmoil? Um, I think that the re the way that we get them to agree to this is that we begin to, to seed false prophecies. Um, and those false prophecies begin to develop a little bit more of a life of their own than we'd anticipated. I like that. You know, the mission area protective have not done a good job. Uh, uh, certainly, once you've gone down this path of being willing to use those prophecies as an instrument, it's just one step further. It's all in the interests of the clan and the empire. Um well, the clan certainly. Yes. Um, I think that 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 Makiko is beginning to think that this is not necessarily to the advantage of the empire. How does Makiko find out that this is what the clan is doing there? I think that ancient master Ro in his cups blurts this out. Is he regretful about it? Is he uh, bragging about that? Is there some other reason why he would talk about that in his cups? I tell you what, now I've got a better solution. My ancient master in his cups was talking about this, and my twin, Kabe Kyoji, who, when I was loyal, was was disadvantaged by my absence. Um, Kyoji overhears this, and he shares it with me. Uh, and he says he was boasting of the power of the clan to manipulate people. We don't even need to use real prophecies. And your twin is excited by this. Oh, yes. Yeah. The dark twin. Says, I, this is the kind of thing that I, I have. This is an art that I can practice. You have your magic. I have always had a gift for words and a persuasion and convincing. This, this is my time. This is my hour to shine. And I think Makiko is just horrified by that though she would never hurt her twin's feelings by being explicit. But but this is, it, that, that's, that's not what I meant. It's, that's not why I'm annoyed. Of course, he, this water off a duck's back uh, ignores your response. Let's come back to the quartz oak. You've worked to reduce turmoil, but things are still bad in the land. You hear news uh, 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 about shenanigans uh, 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 
uh, you know, traveling prophets down in the the the, the southwest. There is uh, a wash of uh, prophecies, sometimes conflicting and contradictory across the land. Uh, people don't know which way to turn spiritually anymore because uh, it's, you know, it seems to be for anybody who's trying to follow the, the ways of the, the glass iris, they seem to be issuing different dictates at different points. No, different don't, don't, don't. Let me be absolutely clear. The glass iris has got a straight line on this. We don't know who those false prophets are. They have uh, nothing yeah. to do with us. True. We are um, as annoyed as anybody as anyone else because they bring prophecy to a give prophecy a bad name. <laughs> uh yeah. So what have I got? Is that I need fortifications and that I need fortifications. Um turmoil across the land is uh despite our efforts is um is rising. Um nothing seems to be able to keep it back. Uh However, I could offer transport to the Nagai family. Mm. I think, uh, though, that again, that noise, I have no idea what it is. Um, like, so weird. Uh, I think I might. Do I know? Do I need to read the wind to find out where I might, how I might be able to get fortifications? Or unless we've got something already established that you think is appropriate that you could get fortifications from. Hmm. Let me have a quick look at the jam board. Nothing springing to mind other than uh, invading the Hellfire Clan, Hellpine Clan, and taking their fortresses from them. Um, there is always asking the emperor. You can mm. always do that uh, when you uh, favor when you, an agent. Right? Yeah, this is using favor. When you request assistance from the emperor, they are magnanimous in their support. You roll plus favor. Uh, on a hit, you get the assistance in the form of a loan surplus, access to something, or advantage on a clan move. Yes, I uh, I send uh, my messengers to the uh, to her imperial empress, uh, and I beseech uh, and I say uh, uh, we've worked to bring turmoil down across the land but um, but the times are dark and dangerous uh, and although we are nomads uh, our, not all of our people can travel by horse and they must be kept safe if we are to continue our work here so I will ask the emperor, emperor's favour to, uh, to do so so that would be my favour of plus one Plus one. Now you could spend your influence with the Halpine clan to give yourself advantage on that role. That's a new thing we've got with influence. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, you know, the Halpine clan uh, makes representations on my behalf to say, you know, like together with our fortresses, we could secure the peoples of the East. Um, Oh, that's a 12. That's Absolutely. A yeah. Uh, uh, the, the Empress is, is very glad that you've come and asked for such a thing. Uh, and it seems a reasonable request. Uh, and I think with the uh, effectively a 13, uh, uh, I don't think there's necessary for a logistics role. I think if you want to put that fortifications uh uh into play right away you can uh erase your need cool i will erase my need um and uh you know nothing comes without payment but i think that uh we are um sincere in our uh efforts to bring term to continue to try and bring turmoil down across the land so yeah that, that is what i'm saying is the you know yeah it, the it's, it's still up there, but uh, you, you've, you've given yourself a, a, a stronger position. Uh, Alan, I come back to you. I think that we're still playing the respect card, which is a, a, a surplus of ours. So I, I think we are now seeking recruits. 
we we again are you know clearly uh the these these um these false prophets are out in the land because we are we 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 can't get out to all these villages uh we don't have enough people so uh i think we'll go around the houses again in terms of um reading the wind how do we get surplus okay uh so that is roll plus two eight Just, ten. by the way i meant to ask turmoil has gone above control again does that raise the doom it only happens once an age so okay. it, it didn't yeah uh, <laughs> uh so you've got uh two hold uh yeah read the wind right um yes so uh how do we get surplus recruits um and i now, think uh, 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 yeah so you can mark a map uh the map with a sign of your answer once you've got this um what kind of thing do you think do you think that this is is claiming those people in the forest or is it something else i think it is those people in the forest and what we have discovered that they are remarkably mystically attuned because of the influence of the dragon uh many of their their young people have lived alongside that dragon for you know a, a long a longer time than we realized and they are they they have been uh touched by the dragon so yes i think that's that's mm -hmm. what we're interested in um so yeah i think that's where we got our recruits from so and, and, and so i think the first step to this is i think that there is kind of a banding that group together in those woods to kind of form uh a a network of people so that they are seen rather than a disparate group of villages as as a as a body so let's add that to the map what do you want to call those uh, villages let's call it um the dragon touched okay uh, so let me copy these yeah duplicate there we go oh i need to go back to text okay so uh, would have been easier to do it that way sorry that was that's okay trying trying to be too clever by half Okay, let's do it the simple way. The dragon touched. No, I that's really small to go there. Yeah, there they are. Perfect on the edge of the forest. So um, you've still got one hold left. Yes. And what I'm wondering, um, I think the other thing I need to know for other reasons is what's happening um, around the shanties of broken magic, because we are expecting, we are interested in what's going on down there, and uh, I know Makiko is going to go looking. You will have heard that this this is a place that is a crossroads, both of the people of the empire and the people of the coast. And what you will hear is that these coastal sorcerers have established a place outside the shanties uh in an old abandoned fortification that they have begun to rebuild to create a location where a number of their potent wizards live and work uh and they are also a, uh searching around for those documents finding bits and pieces trading for them that kind of thing they are gathering up uh they seem to be hungry for legends and lore lovely thank you 
And back to why look, why look for fragments yourself when somebody else is collecting them and you simply absolutely. steal them? Absolutely, you can when you go and raid their covenant there. So, exactly. Uh, come back to the quartz oak. Let's take a second here. What what is the life of Kaze Yori like now? It's a very different role you've taken on a very different position in the house what do you think that looks like what would we see as a scene on screen uh previously uh the daimyo was known for being held up in his uh, fortress in the whole major holding of um now the daimyo is forever on the road uh he, he's always in different places at different times uh and he always wears the mask uh, of the that he has worn since the Sundered Mirror, um, hiding his scars. Uh, the heir and her betrothed uh, sit in the holding, speaking on his behalf at multiple times. Uh, and um, Katayori uh, essentially rotates her identity between her and the surviving Yori brother, uh, the daimyo. Speaking, you know, is it sometimes seems to be in two different places at once as she pursues her own things. But I think it is taking a toll upon her. I think that, uh, you know, the um, the machinations of the clan, the responsibilities of it all, and knowing that this secret would bring down the, uh, would divide the clan that was to come out. Uh, she is looking for the day that the land is uh, safe, that she can, that the daimyo can hand over power to their air and uh, bring us closer to the Imperial family in the same fell swoop. But that's not this day yet, not with turmoil so wide. So wide. Perhaps Kasayori is interested in just what is it that keeps raising turmoil across the land? No matter how many times she tries, it seems to keep going up. Who is it that keeps doing this? Uh, and to read the wind? Yeah, I think that might be. Uh, so I was going to maybe just repeat myself and offer transport to the uh, the Nagai, but I just know that Alan's going to immediately raise a turmoil. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, let's read the wind. Um, read the wind is with Reach. Great. I think I have a. I always got the the characters tab by mistake. The reach of zero. Okay. That's a five. That is a five. Nothing to see here. Let me look here. Hmm. I, I, now that I look at the use and influence one, I suppose I, uh, I could have simply turned to the um, the wise glass iris clan and said, uh, ask them a question which they must answer truthfully. You want uh, to, to roll back or are you? Um, I, I do think that fictionally I would do, but I'm happy to take the miss now and not remember my next step on this, this quest just because I feel like I'm cheating slightly. I think that your people will explore out there. Uh, and I think you discover that there are several spiritualists who present themselves as having a certain kind of prophecy and uh, 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 present themselves as being the ones who can guide things. And I think that there is a moment when 
hear some of your people stop and confront one of these people, perhaps a little bit publicly, about their falsehoods. And I'm going to get back in find this right here. Do they perhaps um someone innocent is caught up and persecuted? Uh well it's actually this uh because I'm making trouble for both you and Alan. Uh it's that you reveal uh them uh and they draw out this staff and they let loose with this staff uh with the burning power of the foe and uh your advanced party that confronts them are cut down uh and you will realize and the public will realize that some of these prophets who have gone out there maybe went out with the best of intentions or maybe went out to serve their clan but some of them have been tainted and uh are are corrupted and what they are beginning to teach there is not the imperial way uh and uh i do think that is going to push our doom track up one <laughs> the corrupted tainted our monstrous overcome those sent against them yes uh so that will click our doom oh which yeah means uh that immediately we uh stop we take our break and then we will come back and we will talk about what happens at that point uh so let's take 10 and hopefully david will join us if david isn't quite back yet by then we may do some and some like zoom down to the player level do some character stuff before we resolve that yeah zooming into makiko's thing perhaps yeah Uh, so we're going to take up here. I want to give uh, uh, Masaru uh, and the uh, Silver Lily Clan a chance to, to take a look and see if there's any big clan moves or things that you would like to get out on the table before we shift to uh, Makiko's Zoom in. Um, I think I'm actually probably good just going straight to the zoom in. Thank you. Okay. Um, I don't Absolutely. think there's anything uh, particularly looming at the minute. Sure. Um, other than the whole situation, but yeah. So, Makiko, what is the zoom in? Like, what do you imagine is happening? Is it you going to the shanties? Uh, is it you going to the covenant? Uh, like, where is where is that? Um, I think that it is going straight to this covenant, this okay. tower of wizards, um, this coastal tower of wizards, um, uh, with the intention of taking whatever they've accumulated. Okay. Um, uh, entirely off books. Okay. You are, are on your own. You're a, a, a rogue operative in this. That seems fair. Uh, do either of you uh fujimori or kasayori wish to join Mikiko on this or would you prefer a quick character or uh to play the the blade of the emperor i'm, I'm good with going for a quick character myself okay you're muted no What's the Blade of the Emperor's move again? Uh, the Blade of the Emperor's move has a uh, fearsome warrior. When you fiercely assault with uh, the intent of driving off your enemies, roll with advantage. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that's appropriate. But I do think that... Um, do you think that this is a perfect opportunity for Kaseyori to uh, reach out to 
this wayward young child of the glass iris. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, Masaru, uh, Silver Lily, why don't you make up a quick character? What's the inheritance for uh, uh, Glass Iris Clan, Alan? Um, I've just popped it in. Oh, he thank had you. one to law or cunning and always know how to read and write. In addition, your non Shugenja can any your non Shugenja can sense when spirits or magical creatures are nearby and may take a flesh wound to communicate with them. So, Kazayori, how how is it that you are ingratiating yourself into the operations of of Makiko? For what it's worth, I don't think ingratiation is necessary. Yes, but I kind of seem a perfect disguise. Um, and I am often overlooked. Uh, so. Um, is Makiko going solo? Like no followers, no members of a clan? Um, I, I mean, I, I won't necessarily declare them, mm -hmm. but if you wanted to be a, 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 a not very noticed genial healer or an ageless librarian, um, there's always one of those in the background. Yeah, that sounds good. A genial healer. Who's a... And when uh -huh. the time comes for me to to not declare them and you reveal yourself, it becomes a clear why I didn't declare them. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Um, they kept saying, oh, no, 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 no. Or perhaps even the, uh, what, where are we we're heading to? We're heading to the, the shanties of broken magic, right? Well, the, 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 the tower of the wizard of the coastal wizards, which is being built just on the, on, on I guess they're renovating one of the towers. Uh, mm. on the on the wall on the wall yeah um i think that i will go i, I think that perhaps i'm in fact your uh local um guide from okay. the uh the shanties you know like uh, oh miss wise miss wise Shujenji. yes the uh, the wizards the powerful wizards coastal uh you know he's uh he's a level 12 i hear <laughs> well well, I mean, interestingly, I do have uh, a feature of my clan, which is when your character visits a new settlement, a local figure of importance will tell you one piece of gossip yeah. worth without rolling. So, 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 so we'll get that in a second. There. Yeah. So, uh, uh, David, tell us about your quick character. Yeah. So, I think I'm going to be playing uh, Raven, who was a former member of the. Um, uh, of the glass iris um and in fact a former a former student uh, well a, a former schoolmate of makiko um uh but um uh washed out of uh the uh magical academy um and has probably been um as is traditional hanging around uh the city of lost hope um uh in the uh, in the meantime um but has uh, um, has joined to um, uh, to to uh, help out perhaps when you are on your uh, on your journeys. Um, maybe even uh, you know being recruited as an ageless librarian um, to you know um, to to support this um, this mission impossible. So. In the uh, Alan, there is a role when you set out on this journey uh, across. You're going to make a cross great distances role. Um, I think that I am as much as I can using my mystical sense of danger and concern. Um, I am tuning into the natural environment. I am 
I am looking for the lines of least resistance to get us to this tower, um, uh, as well as the maps from our library. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to roll plus law. Uh, that is eight plus two is ten. Ten. So I think you can get one hold towards your meditation. Uh, uh, and we will see you arrive comfortably in the shanties where you will be greeted by uh, uh, essentially the the equivalent of of their local magistrate uh, uh, the the person who there are some merchants and people who are kind of in charge here and this is the equivalent of the sheriff for this kind of lawless town uh who who greets you uh uh and and kind of brings your party into to to sit and and uh speak uh with you and uh he will say uh i think you are here at a very opportune time. Uh, 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 my daughter is wed tomorrow. If if you could perhaps uh, present blessings at her ceremony, uh, I can be of great assistance to you, uh, uh, Shigenja san. Um. Please don't call me that. I'm uh, here incogn un incognito. Uh, um, uh, he kind of bites his lip about the incognito thing. Yeah, as her hair waves <laughs> in a non-existent wind. Um, um, I, I'm very happy to do that. Um, but what help could you offer me? As, what is it you need? Why have you come here? I will assist you in this. What is your endeavor? I want to understand the comings and goings of the wizards from the tower. Ah, uh, yes, yes. That I can tell you. Spend, uh, oh, that, that then, I can tell then, you. Then, as long as you can tell me something of that, because um, what I'm after here is some idea of when the tower is going says, to be busiest or emptiest. Or says. Perform the ceremony, and I will grant you assistance. Very good, um, and and I'll do this in disguise. Okay. Uh, and that's all he wants is he wants you to do that. You do that. Uh, uh, it is a uh, you know uh, and a, a reasonably well attended. Uh, the sheriff clearly has some pull. Uh, they're clearly people who are giving him gifts, uh, 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 a little bit of a, a kind of bribery, but uh, you understand how that works. Uh, Raven, is there anything you're doing during this time, during this day in the, the town or a couple of days before this information is given? I think that um, Raven is maybe going to be kind of... Um, just you know, hanging around um, uh, the um, the local um, uh, the local inn, um, you know, uh, chatting with the uh, chatting with the locals and just trying to kind of generally get the uh, get the lay of the land a bit. Um, you know he's he he's used to being in this sort of part of the world, maybe not as far um, far out uh, west as yeah. this, but um, uh, but yeah, the, 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 the you know definitely fits into the sort of general uh, shabby uh, shabby chic of this uh, this area. Uh, so uh, that feels like study. Sure thing.
Okay, let's just uh, just reconnect. Sure. Oh, when you do, you won't like what you find. <laughs> that sounds about uh, par for the course. Yep, there we go. Yeah, five. So I think uh, as you are, are walking around and there, uh, you will see that there are some people here uh, from the Helpine clan. Uh, and you have the definite sense that they are part of a group. Uh, and the general chatter you get is that uh, they are, apparently some of the Helpine clan are negotiating, talking with these wizards. Hmm. Apparently trying to strike some kind of deal is what you are hearing. But they are a complication that is now on the table for this operation. Uh, what about our quartz oak, not daimyo? Oh, you mean uh, humble Imowin? Okay. Uh, of, the, of the coastal wizards of the coastal lands. I am but a refugee here to guide the Shujenya, uh, to act as an interlocutor. Um, well, of course, as Kasayori, my spies look across the land, feeding me reports. When I arrive at a new location, say which group they've infiltrated, its leaders, their enemies, the laborers, the profiteers. I may ask two questions for study or make a declaration. Uh, so what I, I would say that my spies have infiltrated. I think the wizards is a step too far in terms of, I think, you know, to be a, in that sort of group. But I think um, perhaps they're... Um, the labor force or their... yeah, there are a set of people that uh, they have their, some of their own people, but they also have to bring in local craftsmen to assist them with mostly the, the stone working and things like that. Yeah. And I, I think I've got agents among the, uh, the refugees of the, uh, you know, cause these are the way I've imagined the coastal wizards is that they, they're like less one sort of like big unified empire and like the sorcerer Kings, you know what I mean? So like yeah. there's a lot of, Probably these guys are a group of people who are on the offs, on the outs with the, the wizards in the mm -hmm. in there. Yeah, so I've uh, infiltrated the laborers. Uh, so you're spies are among the laborers. Okay. So you have two questions with study or one declaration. Um. Yeah, a declaration. That could be interesting. Makiko is here specifically for the archive, isn't she? The Imperial Archive. Um, so the laborers have been working at unearthing a a great vault within the tower. Does that work? Uh, yeah. Alan, you as well? Yeah. Yeah, you will find that rather than the sort of the scattered documents spread by the wind that maybe you had assumed earlier and i think we kind of established earlier that in fact those documents have been gathered together but they are secured in in a vault but they are all in one place so makiko you do this ceremony uh uh Sake flows, tea, gifts are given, that kind of thing. Wood is up throughout. You know, disguise is perfect. And uh, in the evening, after all this, uh, our uh, magistrate will bring your group together, kind of by uh, a, a lantern light, and will say, There are three wizards just three they do not like each other but they are bound together in whatever order or organization drives things each of them has a set of servants 
that answer directly to them. And then there are soldiers, but they are loosely organized. We have, we are aware that they do not have an organized thing beyond watches. We have craftspersons here that go up and work up at the site for a couple of weeks at a time and then return for a few days and then go back. Uh, they uh, attempt to be self-sufficient, but in fact, uh, they do pay quite heavily for food and other goods from the town, uh, which we ship up there in carts and such to be unloaded. Uh, I know the people who handle those sorts of things, and there is a delivery going out in the next day or so. The building itself, each wizard has taken up a space as far as possible from the others. It is a large old fortification, so there is quite a bit of empty space in there. Uh, they are all very dangerous. I know that there were some that attempted to rob them uh, and met a grisly fate. Uh, does that help you? That is remarkably helpful. I'm very grateful to you. Um, and I hope that your daughter and new son-in-law live long and happy lives. In fact, I'm convinced they will. Ah, thank you. Thank you. That puts my heart at ease. Um, so then, Pat to Raven and I, discussing with our uh, guide um, how we're going to come at this. Um, it seems to me that we should um, infiltrate the tower, go to the vault in the basement, take the fragments, and leave. What say you, Raven? Well, the we do know that these Helpine clan members are supposed to be going off some sort of meeting. Uh, we could always disguise ourselves as them um, and... Uh, Use that as a pretense to get inside. Oh, that's very clever. I think that is a, it's a wonderful idea, Master Raven. Of course. Uh, you know, wait, leave that with me. I will uh, I will be back shortly with, uh, with uh, costumes and disguises for us all. Then we just walk in the door. But how do we find out when we're expected? I suppose I could see if I can find out a little more from uh, um, from the um, uh, the Helpine clan. Um, uh, they may let something slip. Because if we can find out when they're going, we can just turn up early. So uh, let us consider then... Uh, how is it that you want to gather up goods for this Casayori? Well, can I see a perfect disguise? So I will accompany um, Raven and uh, observe the um, the Alpine plan from afar. Okay, and uh, I will have the perfect disguise to be not just a member of the Alpine clan. In fact, but the specific Helpine clan lead, group leader of this group. Okay. Are you getting disguises for the others, or do you think that's not necessary? Um, I think that if I can play myself off as a leader, I think that the others are not necessary based upon my knowledge of the, uh, the that my clan's knowledge of the uh, the coastal wizards. They're very um hierarchical you know what i mean like they only sure. view the leader as the important one the mage the rest of them are yeah. just mutual right that's what they say in their language yeah. 
<laughs> uh, so, uh, Raven, uh, you wish to go and try and uh, obtain information? Yeah, I'm I'm basically, um, the, 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 you know, um, I'm going to go for the more direct route here. Um, I'm just going to try and sneak into their um, into their rooms and rifle through their belongings to find uh, their invitation. All right. Uh, in in that case, uh, that seems like disarm. I was actually going to go for uh, my Ronin move, which is Ooh. when you break the law of your clan, family, or emperor. Uh, roll with cunning. Then then go ahead and do that. That's a seven. That is a uh, seven. And let me look at the move here. Uh, yes, it's on a hit. They have higher priorities than punishing you. So I, I, I figure I maybe don't get away like entirely clean, but. Um... I think, yes, uh, 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 you get kicked. Uh, a few times by by some of the Helpine clan who are who just think that you maybe were trying to 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 rob them of of simple goods and they they complain uh, about the these scum locals and yeah um, you know he, he'll definitely I mean he'll definitely have done the thing of like you know having a quick swig of sake and sort of washing it around his mouth before he uh, uh, embarks on this and will be yeah playing off like kind of just a, as a drunk chancer. Um, and what you, is you it you want to get from this interaction? Uh, and then I'll come to you, Alan. Um, yeah, so if, if I can actually get away with the the invitation itself, but yeah, just some information that, okay. that you know would would give me a clue of like, yeah, uh, I think you'll find some documents that are written in their language, as well as uh, the imperial language, uh, and I think by by scanning through those and handing them off to Makiko, you can get the sense that that they are to go and meet later in the day tomorrow with these uh, uh, Helpine clan with these mages. I, I was only going to drop a hint about call for aid, but I think that's that's we've got what we need. Yeah, the, 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 the only benefit I would get is... Um... Uh, fleeting advantage, socializing with their rivals or enemies. So I think I, I think the, the the mixed success is fine there. And I imagine, Makiko, uh, uh, Raven, you are shocked at how good a disguise uh, your guide has put together. Correct? Oh, I'm I'm all set to hit it with a with a with a staff. <laughs> uh, members of the Helping Pan. On your feet, we must make you parlay with the uh, with the coastal wizards. Is that you? How do you do it's... that? Oh, ancient sorcerer secret. They call it disguise self where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, back to the following morning. Yeah, uh, you will set out early uh, before the dawn. You'll make your way up uh, before the, the the tradesmen are are up. Uh, you arrive up uh, at the the fortress again. Several towers. There are workmen who are getting started for the day, cutting stone, moving things around, and there are uh, a couple of these figures in Western clothing and and armor who will will see you and and be surprised at your appearance because you look a little more martial and certainly don't look like crafters and well I, i'm just wondering because we've got one good disguise and two not very good disguises if if we play this as um uh kasayori is is the top helpine i'm a spiritual consultant 
and Raven is our servant. These are my clerics and my uh, my bard. <laughs> uh, you, any traveling group needs to be well balanced. Uh, there, there will be a uh, 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 person there who will will, will go. Uh, I think this is going to be your role, though. Uh, mm -hmm. I think this is a uh, fine common ground. Uh, with, so someone needs to roll with cunning. Uh, to kind of convince them to like make things move move smoothly. Well, it's not me. Yeah, I think so. I, I think it's either our leader or our yeah. servant scurries to said, Don't you know who these people are? <laughs> I I will do it. Yeah. Uh, and I will mark um yeah, and this is well, actually now that yeah, that actually you could you could do this with fine common ground, or you can do this with disarm. I think either one of those works appropriately here. Yeah, they're both cunning, aren't they? Well, one is bravery, and one is cunning. One is bravery. Uh, yeah, I go with disarm. I think. Yeah. Um And I'm just looking. Uh, Going to mark my blackmailed helpers, the astute artisans of the local village, who I have uh, who have been rounded up as part of my um disguise as i return from the help you know these are the other members of the, the help right. clan workers who are here to uh to assist the wizards um to improve our cover so that gives me advantage i believe yeah yeah and that then is a 10 okay uh so yeah they are uh they will uh, uh bring you inside uh without a problem uh and they will go to get uh one of the wizards uh you have the sense that there's maybe like not a, not a lot lots being drawn but certainly like uh the the wizards are on a clock and now that you've you've come at this time this particular wizard is is called down and so you are kind of waiting there in the courtyard outside this fortification while they go to get the wizard that you're going to talk to. I just want to soak in the the mystical energy in this place. Okay. Um, using the way of harmony, I, I'd like to stock up another another hold. Okay. Uh, that seems reasonable to me. Um, after a bit, if you wait, uh, this wizard will come down. He is dressed very oddly. He is not in robes uh, uh, as as the rest of you are. Uh, uh, he's got cleaner clothing. Uh, he looks younger than the other ones. Uh, he will come over to you and he will say, my Imperial is very good. Very good, indeed. We are here to... The, 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 the talking to get the things from one another. Yes, good talkings. Yes, uh, I am... Mercutio, I, I, uh, do not serve the barbaric gods that you do, but I serve the true gods. So let us talk. Yes, let us talk. Uh, who would it be a push to say that uh, Cassiori understands? Um something of the uh the sorcerer's language with her well in the clan's well-informed far-traveled merchants mark a supply yeah i think that's good oh that's oh you, you and 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 then you know it's if you when you oh, oh 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 good good you speak a real language good yeah i, I think um, i'm gonna actually i'm gonna sit on it okay for, until until our it's useful for me to reveal that i do speak sure it, perfect or it's for um you know over here what they're saying to each other right um 
I will have, of course, as Imowin, that would have been one of the reasons why Makiko hired me, right? Was as a possible inter interpreter right. in this situation. Um, but I think I will, uh, Master, we mustn't engage in any trade talking until we know that they have what they claim to have. Most wise, most wise. You have paper, Arca, book? You have book? Yes, yes, yes. You will come with me? And he will gesture for some of the guards. Uh, let's just go down and we will show you what we have gathered. And you will make your way down these stairs are very much sort of classic uh, a circular staircase down into the slightly damp sub buildings of this place. Uh, and we'll come to a room where there are a set of a half dozen desks. And there are men with writing implements. Uh, and there is a great vault and you can see that these scholars are copying over the imperial documents, uh, making copies of those, and they seem to have copied maybe maybe a tenth of the imperial documents, but they have them. Uh, and then uh, our wizard will go over and you will see him invoke his strange coastal magics tap and then he will uh, uh, open this vault up and they have enough imperial documents to fill a wagon much more than any single person could hope to carry There is a lot of it here. These are the documents. We have only copied a tenth of them, but as we discussed with you before, we will give you the ones that we have copied for an exchange. And then as we finish copying the rest, we will sell those to you in batches. Hmm. Most reasonable an agreement. Of course, check. They must verify. Verify. Do you understand the word verify? Oh, da, 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 verification. Verify. Evidence. Hypothetical. Yes, 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 yes. Your imperial Please. is very good. And he'll, he'll gesture uh, to Raven. He'll gesture to Makiko and you. Uh, please, if you wish to go into the vault. I think I want to know how this vault is secured. Is this indeed magic or is this some sort of perverse mechanical trick? Uh, so that feels like a study move or a yeah. unearthed forgotten lore. Um, well, that's interesting. I hadn't thought about that one. Um, yeah, I think it'll unearth forgotten lore. Okay. So I'll roll plus lore. Yeah. Eight plus two is ten. So you have three hold. Um and I um, will remind you that enacting a ritual or a ritual that you don't know, you get to say what it does. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna declare a detail here. Sure. That that this you, this may be pushing it, mm -hmm. um, that this door is a portal to another location. So the vault appears to be in this basement, but it's actually somewhere else. Okay, yeah, that seems fine. Um, and Two then left. I'd like to get fleeting advantage to learn the ritual to move the portal entrance. So you could... Learning a ritual takes time, requires, ah. requires a tutor. But uh, certainly, if you wish to enact a ritual without having learned it, 
you get to declare what it is it does. And you could take advantage uh, okay. to that. Okay. Okay. And then I've got a third one. Um, what dangers does it hide if I try to do that? Because what I'm trying to imagine is what if I made the portal entrance appear in um, a neutral location where we are, where we could step out with the goods in our own sweet time. The danger here is that this is not something of this place, that this is this is a portal ritual, like like the wizards have done this. So there's that danger there. I think I'm prepared to to toy with that danger. Okay. So you have some time, the three of you, as you're walking in the vault for you to tell the others what you're planning on doing, Mikiko. Exactly. Uh, all we need to be clear about is, I'm assuming, Raven, that you remember enough of ancient Master Rose teachings to assist as necessary. Um, and oh. and you, you, my helpful friend, um, you, you must be in the vault at the point when we make this work, along with any of your entourage, Seems reasonable. How will you follow? Oh, no, I shall be in here with you. And what I intend to do is to m move this portal so we won't be looking out into that scriptorium. We'll be looking out into the basement of the Temple of Tumbling Waters. Do you not worry that someone must keep the, uh, the wizards occupied so they don't notice your, your ritual? Um, I think they'll notice it because as soon as I do that, the hole in their wall that we just walked through will disappear. I'm, I'm going to have a look around while I'm in here in the vault. Sure. Um, are, are there any spirits or magical beings in the area? Uh, that feels like study. Sure, sure. Um, that is a six. Uh, does does anyone wish to help me? <laughs> oh yes, yes. <laughs> um, uh, we do not want this to go pear shaped now. Um, so um, <laughs> so you say what a character nearby can do to boost your efforts. Um, I think um. I think maybe you see um, um, Raven is clearly muttering a few kind of um, uh, you know um, prayers to the uh, to the spirits and the like, um, and maybe you can feel that the um, that the 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 perfidious magics of the um, uh, of the wizards here are trying to interfere with that connection. So maybe there's something you can do to kind of abate that. Yeah. Um, Let's have you roll sounds... with uh, cunning, Makiko. <laughs> <laughs> and there was I going for law. Uh, 2d6 minus 1. Oh, so close. 5. So I think you do discover that there is a spirit, but it is a nasty guardian spirit that is tied to this vault in case anybody screws with things. Um, I, I think that probably in the panic of this, uh, I'm desperately gesturing everyone into the vault. So Kazayori, what are you doing to keep this wizard and the guards from getting suspicious here. I think that, uh, you know, we've uh, had our quick discussion uh, and then, uh, you know, Cassiari said, like, nodded to Makiko and gone, yes, yes, sir. I'll be, I'll be right back as soon as uh, you are ready. Uh, give me the signal. Um, and now she's talking with Mercutio. 
you know, try and position it so that she can see the vault and he can't. And I think she reveals that uh, she speaks um, Faerunese. Oh, uh, oh yes, like, yes, yes. I speak not as good as your Imperial, of course. Oh, no, you speak uh, very, very well. Yes, yes. Uh, and, you know, talking and talking. And then um, while they're, like, rooting around the vault, and then suddenly that, <clears throat> and, like, this spectral image or something appears and then just go, like, stupid, you, you hear distinctly in the Imperial language in a voice that you're perhaps familiar with. Stupid girl. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, um, yeah, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to try and uh, keep him occupied so that uh, the deity can deal with the spirit and do the plan. Yeah. I don't plan on getting into the um, the vault with them. I will, um, I will just hold the fort down here, basically. Absolutely. So. Uh, then, in that case, let's have you roll uh, plus... Bravery. Okay. And yeah, let's do I'm not gonna bother invoking a supply. I might need that for getting away. Um because we can only do three supply, right? Correct. Yeah. Don't need it. Thirteen. So he is he is so taken with with having somebody here who speaks you know and he's able to maybe correct your grammar uh you know very like no 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 it is said like this and and he's completely occupied with that when makiko please roll a ritual to enact a ritual your goal is to change this portal to so be it opens somewhere else open somewhere else in a perfect world the basement of the tower of tumbling waters okay. and um i have happily brought some uh some of the required magical components which i will declare okay um, uh, so you're um, already rolling with advantage i am so i roll 3d6 in the hope that in act a ritual plus two. Roll, roll 3d6 7 8 9 Okay. Now, so, you know I said that I might want your assistance, Raven. Before I, I say mean, I do. <laughs> this oh, would be got, law. It would be law. You've got law one. Um, I think that... Um, well, hang on. Let me just check. What's the downside of... Um... Right now, you are getting one blessing from the blessing list. And I'm giving you one bane. Okay. If you get it up to a 10 plus, you get two blessings and I get one bane. Okay. Do I need it to do anything else but do exactly what I desire, no more or no less? Well, that is a question of how you want to deal with this guardian spirit beast that's tied to this thing. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that... I am prepared to just stick with one blessing here. Okay. And then we'll take on the guardian beast once we've opened the door somewhere else. Okay. Then there will be that shift. I think there is an explosion of air in the basement of this place as this switches. And I think that as this is moving, as you're shifting this through space, as it appears in the thing, this spirit reaches out to grab you and passes through you, Makiko. And somewhere you can feel your twin cry out. Oh, oh no. Kyoji. And that is the bane. It tries to possess you, but instead it is in the body of your twin. Oh no. And what I imagine horrible. that the Shugenja in the area, you know, they sense this and they immediately bind him and carry him down to those prisons. How do you get out of there? 
my well, my my friend. Whenever uh I can't be surprised by anything short of the intervention of a cami. Absolutely. <laughs> I, to escape a situation ambushed when I tried to bolt roll plus cunning. And uh, I am. Are you marking a supply? Mark a supply. Do I have a different idea for that later? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Um, we'll probably be cutting from this scene to to the end here. So just to tell yeah. you that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I know we are. But I am. Um, I'm going to actually invoke my ninja subordinates. Okay. Uh, who I don't think have recovered their tags, rogues, shadowy, um, but they are shadowy. Yeah. They were obviously nestled among the black maid, uh, blackmail helpers. Uh, Yori is the leader of them. Uh, it's not the Yori twins anymore, but Yori is my main guy, of course. Uh, right. And uh, yeah, um, they're going to provide me with uh, the distractions, you know, to. Uh, you know, like yelling out why we one of them uh, pushing the, uh, the the mage down as he begins to summon a spell and uh, I leg it. Uh, so I will roll with that and I will get a plus one for cunning, I believe. Yep. Yep. So I always click on the clan tab when I mean to click on the character tab. <laughs> and that's good because that's a seven. There's a seven. And what's the seven result on that? Seven result on that is... Uh, I choose a complication. I must mark a wound. I end up in another dangerous situation. I leave evidence behind. I lose something valuable. Um, I think uh, I mark a wound. As uh, I think that, like, I am. Uh, he grasps me. Mercutio grasps me in a, with a, a shocking grasp. Uh, <laughs> before um, one of those. Uh, one of the scholars who is translating his thing suddenly leaps up and clobbers him around the back of the head with a uh, with their their tablet. Nice. Uh, and, uh, we we flee um, down the side of the the tower. Um, however, I know that we're going to we're probably going to cut away. Yeah, yeah. But I do have one thing that sure. I would like yeah. to try, which is um, you know, there's more than one of my ninja subordinates, right? Some of them are uh, in the in the vault with uh, Makiko. And uh, Raven, uh -huh. and I would like to. Um, they are under orders to retrieve some elements of this Imperial Archive for the benefit of the Quartz Oak. Perfect. Let's have you roll that uh, plus two. Uh, plus one, I think, because they don't haven't required. They haven't regained the tag. Oh, you would have regained it. Those were gained after uh, after okay. time passes. But why am I bothering to go back to the sheet and cross it out? It makes no difference. To the oh, yeah. In Imperial secrets related to their interaction with the Quartz Oak, old documents, testimony slid away into to, to pockets. Raven, why are all these chests empty? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we, uh, <laughs> we, we didn't get the ones that they were still copying, I suppose. But Makiko, I think for purposes of this, the glass iris can finally fulfill that obligation to the Empress if they wish to turn these over. That's an interesting question. I know. I phrased it with a very particular way. Um, um, I think that that might depend. Oh, I think we're going to try to hand some of it over. Well, you've got a choice. I, we didn't. Can, we didn't have to hand it all over. We, I mean, they didn't. They wanted that in the archives. You've got a choice. You can hand it over, hand over all of it over, and get the benefit of having delivered. Or you can keep it all for yourself, and you will get uh, surplus scholars. Or you can have it like 50 50 and you won't take a punishment for having failed but you won't get a benefit oh um i think that we'll hand it over and improve our imperial favor okay improve your favor 
and I think this happens towards the end of the year, but things are bad. And this situation does not go well. Tell me, Masaru, what is one of the signs of the failure of this project? Um, I think that there are an... It's still at this point relatively subtle, but you hear um, rumors from villages and probably see more evidence um, in uh, bigger towns of, you know, the occasional person going missing and turning up, you know, gruesomely murdered at some point um, in the future. So it's, it's clear that... Um, uh, whatever remnants of the um, uh, of the uh, of the twisted are becoming bolder in their actions and perhaps gathering power. Perfect, uh, Makika. What's another thing that we're going to see on screen here? Um, I think that we will see Makuchio in the Halpine clan's halls, teaching corrupted magic. Yes. You're, you're... Weakening, weakening the grip of the real spirits of, of this land. Perfect. And Quartz Oak, what's, what's another thing that we're going to see on screen? Um... Armed uh, tra travelers now travel armed in the impacts, you know, where there was once peace upon the highways. Uh, now there is nothing but suspicion. There is no home for the itinerant, for the vagabonds of uh, even despite that being the Empress's, you know, roots. Um, there is no trust in the land now. Perfect. Will, we'll start with you. We'll do this Catan style. If you look on the book, uh, mm -hmm. uh, if the project hits five doom. Fear grips the land. If you speak of it, each player chooses one loss. What? What loss? And more than one person can take the same effect. Um, I think... Um... The, the the forces of the witch hunts are turned against uh, many of the quartz oak, uh, for they are nomadic and they are spread across the land, and therefore they are um, vulnerable to the many pointing fingers as the kingdom falls into uh, mistrust and distrust. Uh, they are always outsiders in the lands that they travel to, and therefore an easy target. Uh, so again, uh, need recruits. We're getting one slight. What about for Glass Iris? Sorry, I'm not certain where I'm looking. Oh, uh, so if we look under the Purge of the Darkness, there's a resolution. And I will actually, I can. Oh, 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 oh I see. Ah, I beg your pardon. Okay. Um, so, Purging the Darkness. Oh, no, I still don't know what I'm looking at. I, I see Purge of the Darkness. Purge of the Darkness is Foundation, Entanglement, and then Resolution. If you go down to Resolution on 129, you'll see there are two lists. The first list is if it hits five progress. The second list is if it hits five doom. Um, I'm not seeing anything written down. Uh, all I'm seeing is is on roll forty one, purging the darkness. Oh, I'm on the I'm on the text of the. Oh, I beg your pardon. The, Sorry. Yeah, Sorry. no, I should have okay. made that clearer. Okay, so page hundred and twenty, somebody said, didn't you? Uh, one twenty nine. Oh, there it is. Okay. Ah, right. Okay. Uh Okay. Um. Someone innocent is caught up and persecuted. Dear Kyoji, he is handed over to the. Um... Oh no! Hang on, am I? Am I? Am I missing the point here? Oh, resolution! I am missing the point. That's okay. 
Um, um, I think spirits and kami react to your clan's overzealousness. Gain need blessings, but gain one grasp for the increased militancy. You have moved to a, a family that that uses lies and deception to further its interests, and the yeah. spirits are not happy with that. No. But but you have gained much more power for your clan. <laughs> and what about for the silver lily? I think um I'm tempted by one of the first two. Um, I think I'm actually going to go for the first one um, okay. because I feel like the 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 turning our powers against the innocent was kind of our starting point. So I think maybe um, because of our previous connections with the um, uh, with the Shadow Emperor, uh, we are perhaps considered suspect. So we are. Uh, we are being pursued more um, zealously by uh, by some of the others in the empire. Uh, so I will gain need recruits and one slight. Right. And let's see here. Da, 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 da. Okay, we go. Uh, who has positive favor with the emperor right now? Yes. Three. Uh, so uh, I think that uh, there is a shift there in the woods and a new minor faction heavily influenced by the coastal wizards takes form there in the woods. That's one thing. Uh, I think that uh, yeah, it's sort of remnant. Remnant. Uh, I think that uh, there is definitively a loss of persons from the mirrored city there's turmoil and tumult there and i think that there's a general migration away from that and that that settlement shrinks uh becoming much more a glorified town than an actual city and then the last choice because i essentially the emperor picks one on the doom from this thing for each one, uh, I think that your twin, Makiko, is dishonored and is is marked as suspect and having played with dark forces and imprisoned. Uh, so that's the essentially when the project is doomed, we pick one for each clan with positive favor. I've, I've made those choices. Uh, now let's look at the turning of the ages. Uh, first, there is uh, uh, paying your debts. Uh, where is this? The cost of ages. When ages turns, all debts must be weighed and considered. Each clan answers these questions and roll two dice, man, 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 modifying the result. So first, Masaru, how did you manage your land or people? Uh, did you tend it and raise up the population? Or did you let it fall into ruin or become estranged from your people? It is fair to say neither. Yeah, I was going to say neither, I think, for that one. I don't feel like we particularly um, did much to improve a lot of our people, but I don't think we neglected them right. either. How did you treat the spirits, kami, fortunes, and other divine figures? Get plus one if you honored them and form personal connections. Get minus one if you feared or used them as tools. 
I suppose actually, I was going to say that's probably a zero again, but actually thinking about it, um, we did um, uh, we did treat with the dragon, so I suppose that is probably a plus one okay. there. I'll give you a plus one. How has your clan come together? Get plus one if you rediscovered old customs or found new ones. Get minus one if you focused only on the new or descended into infighting. I think that that's I, I think that's probably a wash again on that one because yeah. I feel like I feel like we did both of those. So um, okay. we we did have some infighting, but then we also discovered some new customs. So I think probably on balance of zero. So go ahead and roll two d six with a plus one. Oh, that's a 10. That is a 10. You do not have to pay any debts. You do not suffer as a result of the turning of the ages there. Will, how did you manage your land and your people? We have a series of fortifications uh, thanks to the help of the Alpine clan. Okay. Give you that. So plus one. How did you treat the spirits Kami, fortunes, and other divine figures. Uh, we always sought them out. We always acted on their their advice, and there we were often. In fact, that was our entire nature of our relationship with Makiko when the uh, the glass iris was to uh, provide us with the the blessings of the celestial kingdom, uh, and it's what led us through the sundered mirror. Fair, fair. How has your clan come together? Get plus one if you rediscovered old customs or found new ones. Minus one if you focused only on the new. Uh, the now or descended into infighting? Well, someone said that we found uh, a series of ancient imperial archive texts about the quartz oaks customs and dealings in the empire. Uh, so I, I would say I, I did all of those things. <laughs> Roll with a plus two, a plus three. That's a 12. That's a 12. You are also, also in good shape. That's a Yori. Dressed to the daimyo, looks out across the fortifications and hears the words of her many nomads uh, coming down and uh, crushes a small origami glass iris in one hand. Uh, and then Makiko, what about for glass iris? How did you manage yes. to manage your people? Um, I think we let it fall into ruin or became estranged from our, our people. Okay, so that's a minus one. How did you treat the spirits, Kami, Fortunes, and other divine figures? I think we used them as tools. That's another minus one. How has your clan come together? Rediscovered old customs or found new ones or focused on I the think, now? I think we have found new ones because that, that new ritual, which took some of the Wizards of the Coast magic and, and twisted it, has added a whole new chapter to the playbook. Absolutely. So. Uh, so I'm rolling at minus one, I think. That is correct. Oh, that's not bad. That's that's an eight. So you have to pick just one from the bad list. <laughs> um, I think that a new threat emerges. What is this new threat? Um, I think it is the Wizards of the Coast combined with the Helpine clan. I think there is a um, a whole new centre of cultural imperialism uh, rippling out from the Helpine clan. As I like these it. foreigners pervert all that we the whole true. They're the mad daimyo of the Helpine clan looking for more power, uh, uh, working his way there. Uh, the next thing you know, they'll be importing muskets. Yes. Uh, and we would, at this point, we would update the saga. People would have a chance to to do change customs, all that kind of thing. I don't think we necessarily need to do that, but that's the, the process. There would be changes to the maps. Uh, we would Players would choose whether they wanted to keep their characters. Uh, or go with new ones. If they if you kept your character, you would choose a new role, and you would get an advance, and then we would go to the to the next thing. You know, 
five, 10 years down the line, however we wanted to, to, to do that. Uh, but I think we should probably move to kind of epilogues here. Uh, the, the final say on what our clans do. Uh, what about the Silver Lily? What do you think is the, the future here over the next, say, decade or so? And what is the future of a Masaru? Um, I think um, I think Masaru um, probably continues to be a sort of fairly um, influential member of the court. Um, uh, you know, is is possibly um, I think maybe maybe not necessarily loved amongst the families. Um, I think maybe um, is but is 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 certainly respected um, as as sort of you know a, a level headed professional um you know uh, uh politician essentially um the i think the clan as a whole um very much um uh there, there's there's very much a sort of um well not, not a split in the sense of a divide between the people but there is obviously um the the clan is is making overtures to try and um, bring people on side, mend broken fences, and so on and so forth. Um, but under the surface, um, I think there is a a big expansion in the more um, uh, espionage elements of the clan um, to try and root out some of the uh, the people that are plotting against them and the agents of the darkness. Um, so they can kind of clear their name and ascend to um, their rightful position once more. Excellent. What about for Glass Iris? Um, I think that in the in the kind of um, uh, the view we get of the near future, I think we see uh, the. You know that the, the people used to say that we were hypocrites who used passivism as a as a cover. Well, the passivism goes. I think that the glass iris become uh, militant in the sense that they begin to look at how they can use their powers to combat the opponents of the empire, empire particularly with a focus on what's happening with the Hellplane Clan. Um, and and that is why I think that if we were going to carry on playing into the next generation, we would see Makiko mark when you work with spirits or other forces to develop powerful new invocations. Uh, and she would rise in the leadership of the clan, uh, despite the dishonor of her twin. Excellent. And last but not least, Quartz Oak. Um, this is a disaster. The, the <laughs> land is torn and ruined. Uh, the Quartz Oak has served faithfully, uh, and yet, despite all of our efforts, uh, the Hellplane Clan and the Sorceress Remnant have uh, divided us. Um, I would be pushing for in the next season uh, open insurrection as the uh, the project, um, as we all had to choose our sides. Uh, and I think that um, the last thing we see is of uh, Kaseyori um, summoning the clans, all of the families of the uh, of the uh, the Quartz Oak, back to their holdings, back to amass a great force to uh, to stand at the Emperor's call. Um, and I, we see her uh, bowing before the Emperor ahead of like a you know a small army to sort of uh, offer our services and removing the mask in a private audience. Nice, nice. Uh, and that is our series uh, for this. I appreciate you coming along for uh, the kind of shortened uh, version we did of this. Uh, we've got just a, a few more minutes. Uh, I would like to do just a quick round of thoughts of stars. Uh, let's start with you, Will. Kind of go back again, Catan style. Um, I really enjoyed playing this. I really enjoyed all the world building. I really enjoyed this thing. Uh, the characters that we did and all the zoom-ins and everything. I think it worked pretty well 
with two, actually, but I think that the problem with two, you know, just in that hour that we played, but I do think that the problem is, is that if someone's missing, they end up so far on the back foot in terms of how much can change because of how big it is. Like, I was very like, I don't want to go much further without David being here because mm-hmm. there'll be nothing for David to interact with, you know, suddenly you've gone from here to here, basically. Um, but I really enjoyed all of it. I thought the, the changes that you made as we were going worked really well. Um, I enjoy. I thought everyone did a really good job of like indulging the conceits of everybody else's characters and the setups and stuff because they're quite big, loose moves, you know. Like mm-hmm. I'm just struggling for the fictional positioning unless you negotiate that like declaration, like oh, I'm a, I'm your local guide that you hired, of course, you know. Um, otherwise, it's like, where does it come from? Um, but I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I do. I did still think that the. Um, and I think that's a hindsight and framing thing uh, that the project of uh, darkness, uh, you know, purging the darkness, really only came out mostly during um, the Glass Iris's uh, multiple misrolls where mm-hmm. they had uh, taken over and stuff like that. I would have, and I know that some of that's like probably that I didn't go seeking justice or whatever, right? But like um, the, you know, that kind of like, inquisitorial like witch yeah. teeth accusations and stuff like that would have been and maybe I, I think there's a place for some better gm suggestions and toolkits to say hey when you've got this project in play here are some additional ideas for hard moves here are some specific hard moves to do when this project is in play and i would have loved to have had like an NPC like we have now with the help incline, right? Like somebody to turn your um your gaze at. And mm-hmm. if you go well, then they were the right people. If you roll poorly, then oh my god, you just sent this whole innocent <laughs> under that kind of thing or, or something. But I really, really enjoyed it. Uh my wishes would be to um to come back and uh play more. And my final note was I could not find the bits in the rules where you chose you know, when it was at the end and it was like, who's in favor of the court? And you picked from a list of things. Where's that in the rules? That's uh, listed under the particular emperor. Oh, under the emperor. Right. Okay. Yeah. I was looking at the project. Because there's a different ones for each emperor slightly. Okay. Um, I, I like that idea of having a unique clan move for each project, like something that you could do for potential benefit that plays into what's going on there. Um, that's a really interesting idea. I think it would definitely encourage you to because you're starting surpluses and the way that the world the creation of the world goes and the you know the rules and everything like you start off with a bunch of surpluses that may or may not be of any relevance to the project right right and then you're several moves behind turning those surpluses into relevant things and that's part of it but you know uh i also i will say a big start to uh being allowing me to uh, steal something from um, the, the glass iris, which was uh, the one I think uh, antagonistic move, adversarial move that we did against each other in the entire game. Well, he also raised turmoil on you after you'd done all that work. So yeah, we did. Yeah, and I I, I totally uh, was looking at my moves and I was like, I missed the chance to do the uh, call in my influence. You offered me the rewind, but I didn't take it. And I also could have just used my Cassiori's uh, overlooked and overheard the conversation between her and her brother. Um, mm-hmm. And yeah, I, re- I really wish I'd thought about that at the time, but I don't know. Yeah, how it's, would... it's a game with a lot of moves, so it's very easy to forget what you can do. Yeah. Uh, Alan. Oh, to uh, to misquote Alec Guinness in a film called Kind Hearts and Coronets All the elegance are free from the oak with none of the concomitant absurdities. <laughs> Um, I I, th- I think that uh, I you know I think that you've ironed out a lot of the bumps that exist in Free from the Oak, um, and and so I think it 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 flows more smoothly now, and I think it makes more sense. Um, I I never really get rituals; they're all so big scale that they're almost the kind of thing you do as a clan, not as an individual, or that the you know they they're so very specific in terms of their effect um that that i'm not i'm not sure when one would use them 
Yeah, I, think. I, I I agree. It's uh, it's one of those places where we it it's better than it was, but it's still not not yeah. perfect about how it integrates. Um, and I, and I don't know whether it's worth thinking about. I yeah, I don't know. I mean, the original the the free from the yolk ones are much the same. Um, I, I I wonder if there's a way to do it such that. You have the, the the free form rituals, but then maybe when you do get a particular ritual, maybe make them even a little more scarce. You have a ritual, and here's what it looks like at the clan level, and mm. here's what it looks like at the character level. Like like there are two yeah. levels to each ritual or something. Yeah, because you know that there, there's. Yeah, I I I I I did not find any real occasion to use any of them. Yeah. And that, that seems a bit off for the mystical Shugenja. Um, it, it's actually much simpler to use the gear options to simply make a move using magic. You know? Yeah. Um, so I, that, that, there's something about rituals that has never quite sat with me in Free from the Yoke. And and I think that we're still some way from that. Okay. Um, no, I think that's, that's uh, really but, fair. But the biggest advance, I think, is that Lend Aid move, which now feels feels more balanced more right it feels like the costs and benefits are they they allow you to make a reasonable judgment in play because the effects are narratively consistent mm -hmm. um, as well as mechanically useful awesome uh david yeah, um, it was um, it was a lot of fun though. I said um, I really enjoyed um, the time we had with the game. Um, I mean, like I enjoyed our first run through. Um, that was good fun. But um, the the you know, I think both just having a, the the more consistent um, run of it, and also um, the, the 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 world building I felt went a lot better. So I, I really did enjoy our characters, enjoy the world we played in. Um, that all felt really good. Um, yeah, I I um I enjoyed it a lot. Um definitely looking forward to playing more. Um I, I can't think of any I think like I said, I think it felt like yeah, I, I think as Will said, I, I felt a little kind of unsure where to go um mm -hmm. with 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 like coming straight back in like part way through, but you know, th that's always gonna happen in any game, I think, and and you know that's it's just like i said yeah right because there is such a big potential for context but at the same time it was fun just being able to jump straight into a scene with uh, a quick character and just run off what was happening so it swings and roundabouts at the end of the day you know there are a lot of there are a lot of options in the game for doing fun stuff without it being part of your kind of overall long-term plan or whatever mm -hmm. so I think, yeah um uh, absolutely no um, a really really good time so uh, thank you very much uh i thank you again all for for helping me out with this and uh i think it's gotten stronger and i i look forward to to further iterations on this uh to make it stronger so i am going to stop the recording